welcome to the first sewing vlog my very first sewing vlog so please bear with me I've never done one of these before um, I hope I won't make an absolute hash of it so what we're sewing today is this the Merchant and Mills factory dress pattern um, I'm going to take my measurements and work out what size pattern I need I'm going to talk about the um, the fabrics that I'm going to use um, and you'll see my process for tracing out and you'll work with me with the first mock-up hopefully that will go well and that'll be a, uh, an actual wearable mock-up and then I'll go on to make the actual dress itself so hopefully this will be an interesting video come with me and let's have some fun so this is me in all my glory you can see um, reasonably shapely decent shelf bit of a waist these so there we go this is what I have this is what I look like as you see curvy so what I'm going to be doing now apart from moving around is I'm going to measure myself get my measurements so I can work out what size of the factory dress I want to make um, hopefully I haven't actually looked at the pattern yet but it should have finished garment size so I can actually make a better um, idea of what size I want to make I'm probably going to have to make a top and a bottom in two different sizes just because these are these don't lie unlike the uh, as much as I'd like them to lie these hips don't lie so I need to make sure I have everything that it looks right, looks in proportion. But obviously this is a boxy dress, so I need to just make a little, you know, I need to accept that it's going to be slightly unshapely, but it doesn't mean so we can't have a try. So I'm just going to measure myself. This bit's always a bit depressing. You might use the same. Own it, as they say. So, you know, like I said, I'm not going to tell you. But now I've taken my measurements, I'm going to have a look at the pattern and see where we are. Oh, by the way, we need to be a bit quiet. I have an audience. Welcome to the bedroom floor. I've just taken my measurements and now I'm ready to have a look at the pattern, see what size I might need, um, see what fabric I might want, and yeah, to start this process. So as you can see, this is a Merchant Mills factory dress pattern, a nice simple t-shirt dress. Looks like it should be good for basically everything and anything, I think. Um, looks very simple to construct. I'll be cut two, cut one, cut one, cut one. I'm assuming I haven't actually looked at the pattern yet. Um, it says here, um, a smart heart working statement dress with ready rolled sleeves and functional pockets inspired by generations of land girls, smart industrious women with things to do in style. Well, there we go. Uh, I'm probably not much in style, but anyway, I am hard working. <clears throat> so, Let's have a look. So this suitable fabrics, we like the fabric uh, factory dress in linen, cotton drill, lightweight denim, fine wool or corduroy. So what this is telling me is that this is a pattern that doesn't do well with a lot of drape. This is not the sort of pattern that you'd want to make out of a silk or a viscous rayon or anything like that. This needs to have a bit of a bit of steadiness, um, a bit of oomph. So that's fine. I've got some ideas already for this. I'm going to have a look at the instructions. I'm going to trace out the pattern because I don't. I like to keep my patterns whole. So if I trace it out, I can hold it up against me and get a rough idea. Now this is a little bit hit and miss because paper does not act like fabric. It doesn't stretch. It doesn't do anything. But it gives me an idea as to where I think this pattern's going to end. What fabrics am I going to use? Well, I said in a previous video that I want to make a wearable mock-up. Um, this helps me to be even a bit more sustainable so I've got this red linen it's not quite as red as it's making it on camera at the moment but it's not far off it uh, I got this as part of a 30 meters for 30 pounds lucky dip box from Dalston Ma Ma uh, Dalston Mill Fabrics part of this lucky dip I've got a load of this gorgeous red uh, linen I've already made a pirate top yep I said pirate top yep that one that Bernadette banner made 
I'll link the video just in case you haven't seen it. Um, it was a good lot of fun to make and I wear it quite a lot. So I should have enough here to make a, uh, a definitely a wearable mock-up. Um, if I can get time, I might do some pulled thread work um, around the edges um, and that will be my mock-up. And if all goes according to plan and it all works out nicely, this is the fabric that I'm going to make my dress out of. Now you've not seen this fabric because this wasn't part of my original haul, this was from my trunk of wonders. Um, and it's, I forgot, it's quite a narrow cotton, but it's got the stiffness required. But I think that looked really quite pretty and a nice spring summer dress. To be honest, it could be an autumn dress as well. I, like I said, it's quite narrow, but I've got enough of it. I can't remember where I bought it. I'll have a look through my emails. I think I know where I got it from. Um, but I'll have a look and if I can remember I'll link it down below. This will not be there. I think I bought this from another dead stock company. What I've got to say is I've pre-washed both of these fabrics a long time ago so they are absolutely ready and raring to go. Um, always pre-wash your fabrics. Um, it does help with um, a little bit of shrinkage. Losing a centimetre off all sides of three metres of fabric is far easier to deal with than losing a centimetre around each side of a cut piece of fabric. It really does make a difference. So here we have the finished measurement size guide. I need to work out what sizes I need to cut out. I think I already know, but my best have a look. Um, as you can see, a very nice view of Paris. I took that myself. Pleased with that. This I'm not so pleased with. I'm all over the place in terms of sizes. Um, I'm going to probably have to go for a 14 and 18 because I think that's the, the closest match to me. So what I need to do now is I need to trace out the pattern, make sure it fits on both my fashion fabric and on my Oh, no, 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 don't look at that again. Shut your eyes. I've hurt your eyes. That's Paris. Good Paris. Um, and I just need to work out whether it fits all on my fabric. And then I get on to cutting out the mock up. So ignore that. Let's go to time lapse time. So here she is, all ready to be put together, all cut out. Um, as you can see, I've brought the waist up a good couple of inches. Um, I've tried it on the paper, I held it up to myself and raised it up, guessing by eye. Uh, but I've given myself an extra inch at the bottom, just in case I need to give myself a little bit more room or maybe cut it too high. But we shall see, this is a mock-up. So, you know, whatever lessons I learned from this will be transferred over to the main uh, main dress. I have already made a mistake uh, in raising the waistline. I lengthened the hemline, but I forgot about the pockets. So the pockets are going to be stupidly high. I'm going to see about that. I don't know if I'm going to have the pockets in this particular dress. We shall wait and see. But I think I'm going to bring this particular um, video to a close. Um, next video, I'll be talking about 
the sleeves. I've got some ideas around um, some embellishments I want to do. So the next episode will be very much about me talking through my thought processes, showing you what I'm thinking of doing. Um, so a bit, a bit of pulled thread work, um, a bit of drawn thread work as well. So yeah, I'm doing a little bit different already. Um, so yeah, I think that concludes this uh, little uh, video. Thank you very much. This has been a Crazy Cat Lady production. You've been watching an unoriginal idea. Bye bye. Oh, and um, <clears throat> somebody was out last night. A little bit of a sore head, that one, I reckon. Dirty